Thank you. Better and less expensive data transmissions through high speed broadband for all in 2020. That is an ambitious policy target, I must say, and I fully support it. But let's face it, it won't come easy. Nevertheless, I believe that with the Parliament's first reading position, we will be able to take a big first step towards this goal. And let's be clear, broadband for all is not only about making sure that everyone has a Facebook profile. It is about ensuring Europe's place in the world as a leading knowledge-based economy. If we manage to connect 500 million people, our citizens and businesses will be able to reap all of the benefits and opportunities of the digital economy. Especially two things need to change for Europe to get there. Firstly, we need a well-functioning, pro-competition telecommunication market on a European level. That is why we have introduced rules on competition proofing. Member States should not be allowed to allocate newly freed up spectrum to a specific market player if that would diminish or distort competition in the market. Secondly, we need a more efficient allocation of spectrum, an allocation that also more, also more accurately reflects today's diverse demands and needs for spectrum. That is why we are gearing this policy program, not only to free up the 800 megahertz band, but also to free up additional bands amounting to at least 1200 megahertz by 2020. Let me finish by thanking the Commission, the Commissioner, the Rapporteur and my fellow shadows for an extraordinary good cooperation. Without it, this level of ambition would not have been possible. Thank you.